All right. Hi, everyone. I'm Jim Basney. I'm director of Trusted CI. Uh, I'm hoping the, the remote attendees can also hear me and see my slides. Um, and uh, Jeanette and Jim are going to uh, tell me if not. So far, so good. OK. Uh, so I'm going to uh, speak for just a few minutes because I'm very much looking forward to Anshul's uh, presentation coming up at 930. Um, and uh, but let me just check the check the chat. OK, asking if people can hear me. So uh, welcome to the summit. I'm so glad you're here. Uh, I'm so glad um, uh, many so many of you are here in person. I'm very glad uh, that we have over 100 virtual attendees registered and uh, 34 um, connected right now. And um, that, that number has been growing. So uh, let's uh, we're doing the best we can to work out the logistics so the virtual attendees can fully participate in our meeting this week. Um, I'm also excited uh, by the analysis uh, that over 50% of you are first time attendees at the summit. And so many of you have uh, put a red dot on your badge to indicate that this is your first summit. And so I encourage people who uh, this is not your first summit to especially seek out those people with the red dot and get to know them. Um, we're, we're really interested in the new input of new community members and we're very glad you're here. We, we wanna get to know you. Uh, we have the Slack channel that both the in-person and remote attendees are connected to. It's, that's a great place to have some uh, discussions inspired by the presentations this week uh, where everybody can participate. So please do, uh, don't feel shy about starting a thread in that Slack channel. That's a great place for us to connect with each other. We have a code of conduct that, that applies to this meeting. Um, uh, which you can find the full text of on the website. Uh, in, uh, in summary, our goal is to foster and provide a welcoming environment of mutual respect for all participants in this meeting. If you have any concerns or if there's an incident uh, 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 by which you do not feel welcome at this meeting, please talk to me or talk to Kelly Shute, who's right there. Uh, you see uh, Kelly's friendly face. Uh, we will do all we can to uh, to address any incidents that arise and make sure that everybody is welcome at this meeting. We're very glad that, that you're here. Uh, this meeting is uh, is the success that it is, thanks to participation uh, from a lot of community members and uh, trusted CI staff. The Summit Program Committee, with Jim Marsteller as the chair, has put together four full days of content uh, that we're going through at a, at a very fast pace this morning um, and uh, and that we'll have uh, multiple parallel sessions uh, throughout the week uh, for you to choose from. Um, and so I, I really uh, thank them for all their efforts to to go through the submissions, to, to identify good ways of organizing this program so uh, we can all participate in as many sessions that we're interested in as possible. And then the Summit Organizers Committee uh, worked on uh, making sure that uh, that, that uh, all the logistics of this meeting went well and, and we all get fed and we get buses to where we need to go. And so I'm very grateful also for their all their efforts in uh, in organizing this meeting. Um, uh, we heard the, the Berkeley Lab welcome from Sean and the, the ESNet welcome from Adam. We're very happy to be here at Berkeley Lab. I think it's really cool to be at a, a lab dedicated to science for this meeting um, and to be around uh, uh, you know, be, be close to the machine rooms and the instruments where science is happening rather than just at, an, you know, another hotel conference center. I think it, there's something special about this location that adds a special something to this meeting. And so I, I hope you agree with me that um, uh, it's it's really uh, great to have uh, this meeting at Berkeley Lab. And we're so grateful for the support that, that the Berkeley Lab staff have provided, um, including uh, Jason. Thank you, Jason, for all your support. Um, and uh, and it's also great that uh, we have a lot of DOE participants here with us. Um, we're having good DOE NSF uh, cross agency discussions. Thank you all to all the summit presenters um, for your contributions to the program. This is a community based event. And so these presenters submitted to the call for proposals that was reviewed by the organize, organizing committee. And so we've got presentations at the plenary sessions, we've got breakout sessions, we've got uh, community groups organized this week. And so 
the, the summit wouldn't be what it is without all of the presenters. We also have students here, and I want to um, welcome the students and make sure you're aware that uh, uh, here's the, the list of students who are participating in the student program. And could I ask the students to stand up? Great, okay, you can sit down. Thanks very much, thanks. Uh, uh, thanks for being here. Um, please get to know the students. In addition to the students that uh, uh, that were part of the program that provided travel funds, we also have local students from the um, UC Berkeley Cyber Club participating in the meeting. So uh, please also look out for those students and, uh, and get to know them. I, so I mentioned we have a number of co-located meetings as part of the program. Uh, you just heard from Adam about the co-located SAFER meeting. Uh, the WISE community met yesterday. Uh, we had um, full day Zeke and Jupiter trainings yesterday. And then uh, I think later today, we have a joint uh, Zeke-Jupiter uh, meeting for those groups to uh, to work together on a, a, a common plugin. The Access Connect cybersecurity team is meeting this week. Um, the Trusted CI Framework community of practice, all of the major facilities that have adopted the framework through the Trusted CI cohorts are, are meeting this week. Um, and I and so uh, it's it's uh, it's really great that uh, uh, that these groups are participating. Um, and uh, so uh, thank you for joining us. And um, I, I hope that uh, you have productive meetings this week. We will be sending out an attendee survey. Please provide your input for next year's summit. Uh, you'll receive a, a survey link in email and in Slack. And we take your input really seriously. So um, uh, here's what we heard from last year's survey. Uh, we heard that uh, people really valued the hybrid mode, but wanted it to be more interactive. Um, so having a Slack channel where the in-person and the remote folks, the remote participants can communicate directly uh, versus the platform that we used last year was, uh, was one of the ways that we have uh, responded to that input. Um, we've also extended Zoom connectivity to uh, uh, to a number of the parallel sessions to make it possible for the remote attendees to participate. We've extended the meeting to four days to give uh, 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 to cut down on the number of parallel sessions that you have to choose from to uh, to make it possible to co-locate more meetings. Uh, we had some requests for that in the last year's um, uh, last year's survey. Um, we asked for um, uh, have, having more uh, workshop and training sessions uh, fit into one day, shorten the individual sessions. Um, and so we've done that. Uh, we uh, have uh, invited more topics like uh, training, the Zeke and Jupiter training. We added a poster session. All the students will be uh, presenting posters. The poster session is a great time to get to know the students, but there's also other, other posters in that session. And uh, people also wanted a location with uh, an international airport that was easy to get to. And so I hope all your flights went well getting into the, uh, the San Francisco area. Next year, Cybersecurity Summit will be in September with a location to be determined. If you're interested in hosting the Cybersecurity Summit next year, working with us to host the Cybersecurity Summit next year at your facility, maybe we can find a facility that's as interesting as Berkeley Lab for next year. I don't know. but. Uh, that that would be great. Please do talk with us. Also, if you're interested to serve on the program committee, please um, send us an email. Uh, so uh, in uh, just one last minute, I'll say, um, you know, this community faces cybersecurity threats and has been uh, going above and beyond to defend against those threats and address those threats. I want to uh, give my respect to those of you in the community who are there in, in, in the security operations at the facilities, uh, defending against these threats, bringing the facilities back online after an attack. And uh, I want to encourage you to participate, uh, encourage all of you to participate in the TLP Red session on Thursday, where we can have a discussion of restricted disclosure topics uh, about those threats that, that may not be uh, publicly available. The, uh, if you're not familiar with TLP Red, that's uh, signifying that the, the meeting, uh, we keep the information inside the meeting um, uh, and we don't uh, let it escape from the meeting room. Uh, you can have uh, see more details at that first.org site. 
Uh, we uh, uh, we already heard from Rob about the HPC security work that NIST is doing. Uh, we also have a trusted CI framework cohort right now focused on HPC security. And if you'll be at SC23 coming up, don't miss the SHPC security uh, for HPC workshop. Uh, it was the most popular workshop at SC22, and I expect the same for SC23. So it's a really important topic right now. Um, uh, don't miss the Thursday morning panel session about the annual challenge of security by design for ships and poles in the NSF ecosystem, um, but I'm just going to breeze through that. And uh, also, uh, if you haven't yet read our five-year Trusted CI Vision document, please do uh, take a look. Uh, we've received some really valuable input from the community, uh, thanks to those of you who've responded already, but uh, additional input is very welcome, and Kelly has been co-locating the, the input for us. So with that, uh, I think uh, I'm only two minutes late for, for uh, getting Anshul started, but um, thank you all for being here, both in person and online. Thanks to NSF for, uh, for sponsoring us and for the trusted CI team for all they did to, uh, to bring this meeting together. And uh, let's have a great meeting this week. Thank you.